Unfortunately, our education system is corrupt. I never learned how to poo in college, so I have to develop my own formula of crazy things, and it will work. I love you, colon girl. It's my world. I will never make a sound. So I've had my ups and downs with old digestion. Sometimes it's flowing. Sometimes we're backed. I'd like to have a backup plan just in case things aren't, they're going okay right now, but I just, I, you do not get better than this formula by Dr. Morse. When I was starting to take that regularly, it was like every day and it's sliding. I want to recreate that. It's expensive as heck. So I'm going to show you how to make it almost as good. So all I did was buy most of the ingredients here. There was a couple that I couldn't find and a couple that I chose not to include. Activated charcoal. That will just absorb everything you eat for the next four days. So it's like, eh, do I really want that? I'm leaving it out. And aloe extract, like where are you even gonna find that? Good luck. So first step, psyllium husk powder. I'm gonna do one cup. Don't follow my measurements, you might kill your cat. We're gonna blend this, so just dump it in your blender. I was going to get all fancy and measure each ingredient, but basically I'm just going to put the entire package of whatever I bought. I have no idea how much is in each, but I'm we're just rolling with that. So this is chickweed herb. That's going right on in. Hipscara sagrada. That's the bowel mover. 2000. You don't want too much help with that one. I do kind of feel like putting the whole thing. My body intuition is saying maybe half. Marshmallow root, very soothing to the gut. It makes a gelatinous formula. Could help you. That's going in. Slippery elm herb. This is also very similar to mushroom root. God, I had one chance of that line. Marshmallow root. I'm not sure how much, but you kind of want a lot, I would say. That's a good herb. Really highly underrated. These are just fenugreek seeds. You can sprout them. I used to sprout them and juice them. They make you smell like maple syrup. Remember those days? Huh? I'm gonna put, that's a lot. Probably half of what I had. I imagine the amounts that you're putting in are key. So like, we're just winging it and seeing what happens. I don't know, like too much Sagrada. Dr. Morris perfected it. So it's like only a tiny touch, just enough to give the slight bell movement, but if you put too much, it blasts things out of you like a fire hydrant. I don't know. So we're just winging everything. Mullion, also good for the digestion. And lungs. And bayberry leaf, the last one. No idea. I've never heard of it. I'm going to put half of that, I think. That was like four fifths. So now you just take your blender full of craziness and blend it and hope to sweet Jesus that things actually work. Or God. Whatever of those two you prefer talking to at night. seem to work. It's hot. Everything in here is so hot. I can't be good. My blender did not appreciate that, but whatever. We move on. So now you have a formula. Did you get a mason jar? Good hole. Capture most of it. I should try harder at this. I feel like I'm gonna waste so much if I don't. It's burning my hand best tool to get something out of a blender is definitely a fork. A wooden fork if you have. You have basically the same ingredients. They might not work the same. So I'm going to come back. My plan is just to mix like a heaping teaspoon into some water, chug it, and then drink my liter of lemon water in the morning. Just because I was just taking six pills of this. So same basic thing. It might taste 
utterly abysmal. So next thing you'll see is a taste test and then I'll let you know in a week or two if this is actually working and worth doing. I forgot the plantain and ginger key ingredients that would keep that thing from killing me. And the blender's wet now. Oh, safe. I love you. Okay, it's been about two weeks, if not three. I'm just throwing that out there. I've been taking it every day. I made some tweaks. Initially, I felt like it wasn't doing much, so I added the rest of that Cascara Sagrada pack, and then that wasn't doing anything, so I bought another one, added more. Now I feel like that with the combination of increased hydration and the one meal a day, things are moving, they're sliding. They're floating too. Medical medium said that was a good thing. Huh? So I feel like we have a friendly nudge with the Cascara Sagrada who's just saying, move along, sir. Just quietly. He's not like a bouncer. He's just saying, it's like a, it's not a laxative that's habit forming. It's just a little nudge. And then all the other herbs are just soothing inflammation. The ginger and the slippery elm. It's a good little formula. And then I'm like super hydrating. So I drink water all throughout the day distilled of course and then when i'm ready to break my fast it's a green juice which is another liter of like super electrolyte richness and then i wait a little bit and then have some coconut water boom and then like i'm making a little smoothie with the coconut water as well with aloe leaf in there and, and then my big salad and things are good that's a good little formula he's so professional right now i made my own label oh are you believing that I just took a picture of Dr. Morse's formula, blew it up, printed it, cut it out, taped it on. Huh? Come on. Huh? Similar ingredients? Wow. So I just take half a teaspoon now. I think I was doing a heaping teaspoon. That was too much. And then I read 2.7 grams was his serving, so I weighed that and I was like, oh, that's like half a teaspoon. What am I doing? So once I did that and articulated the formula that wasn't the word there are some things in here that i obviously didn't use but like key ingredients to that aloe vera 100 to 1 extract how would you even get that who knows in the irish moss that would have been nice but i take my own aloe leaf later on in a smoothie chop off the spikes and then throw the whole leaf in the blender boom it's so bitter it's so bad but when you blend it into a smoothie i don't taste it at all so super beneficial poison is beneficial now so that's how you make your own bowel formula make sure to drink lots of water i have it every morning just mix it in a tiny cup and then i'm drinking like a full cup of warm water by the way i add a little bit of boiling water to this i remember hearing some father and son team a long time ago they were both constipated as hell and they just started drinking a liter of warm water I probably don't even need the formula, it's just the warm water helps. So hydrate that body, my friend, and Bell will formula your way to success. And I'll be here watching you thumb up the video. Thumbs down if your Bell formula contains BPA plastics and sponges from the dollar store they are fibrous but not in a healing way get real plant living fiber in aloe like substances you'll be fine don't sponge you can't just because they clean your dishes doesn't mean it cleans your insides oh i swallowed a dish sponge. i'm clean a dish soap next time asshole i'll leave you subscribing for more videos see you later